I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Sometimes you just want to get away from the noise and crowds and find the quieter corners of a country. 400 plus miles north of Yangon, Myanmar, I found one of the most serene places I have ever been to. So where are we right now? Now we are in Bagan, the ancient city of Tanbot, the most historic site in Myanmar. It's so magical. Yes. This is the most beautiful place. Yes. If you have time, I can show you the, the most historical monument. Oh, yes, please. Yes, yes. I can show you. I'm an optimist. I feel like we can do all of them. So there I was thinking, the view of Bagan's 3,000 ancient buildings from down here was amazing. But I ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, my God. How long have all the temples been here? When was it started? The Bagan Dynasty War started 107-82, Durations of Bagan Dynasty Wars, 262 years. Here's some fun facts for you. There are two kinds of buildings in Bagan, a stupa, also known as a pagoda, and a dampa, which is a temple. If I wanted to see more of these temples, I had to get moving. So how many monks lived here originally? Uh, originally, there are uh, over 100 monks or resides here. Only the head, the yeah, head monk uh, would uh, live uh, in uh, there? Only the, mostly, mostly we found uh, only the head of the monastery oh. complex. Here's a nice place, yeah. huh? Like a university. Yeah. Like a university. It was well. proof that uh, the development of the Buddhist study. I don't know which university you've been going to. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what is this place? Uh, this is Sulamani Temple. Sulamani, oh. one of the greatest temples of Fakai. Yeah, this is really fancy. Yes. So people still come here, yes? Yes, yeah, yes. People come. Local visitors also come here. Oh, look at this. Wow. Turns out, I have something in common with ancient Buddhist monks. We all love our little crazy animals. For those who don't know, Carl Froelich is the canine unicorn, AKA my dog. And this is kind of like the dragon version of Carl. I mean, look at these eyes. Who is it? It's baby Carl. After spending the day getting all sorts of zen out, I think these monks might have been onto something. If I was a wealthy person back in the 11th century, I would build a stupa or a temple and hope that I wouldn't be reincarnated again. I would just go to Nirvana. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome, I'm doing that. <laughs> On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, think you have patience? Meet the woman taking care of 200 young girls all on her own.